Finally, I want to talk about something called the limiting reactant. A limiting reactant is the reactant that runs out on a reaction. And then that limits the amount of product you get. Well, let's see a simple scenario that can explain that phenomena in chemical reactions. Let's say you are making sandwiches with just buns and a piece of meat. Um, you have 50 buns and you have 30 pieces of meat. How many sandwiches can you make? Remember that normally two buns are required for a sandwich and one piece of meat is required for a sandwich as well. So with 50 buns, you can make a maximum of 25 sandwiches. Then you will run out of the buns. But with 30 pieces of meat, you can make 30 sandwiches. Um, but so your answer choices as to how many sandwiches you can make will be one of the two choices, either 25 sandwiches or 30 sandwiches. And I'm sure all of you know the right answer. And the right answer is 25 sandwiches, the lesser of the two. Because as soon as you have made 25 sandwiches, you will run out of the buns, even though five pieces of meat remain. Same thing can happen in a chemical reaction. Here is a balanced equation of hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen gas to produce water. And the question we can ask is how many grams of water are produced when 5.32 grams of H2 react with 9.32 grams of O2. In the previous questions, you only were given one piece of information. Uh, your point A, the starting point, was just either moles of some reagent or grams of that. And then you were asked to find the moles or grams of the other. But now you are given two values, two grams. So how do you solve for this? You solve it the same way you did it previously, except you will have to do twice as much work. You will have to find how much H2O you can make with the amount of H2 available to you, ignoring the amount of O2. So from grams of H2, you convert to moles of H2, then from there to moles of H2, and then grams of H2, just like you had done previously. And this is the work here. When you do that, you get an answer for the grams of H2O as 94.9 grams. So 5.32 grams of hydrogen gas can give you 94.9 grams of water. Now you do the same thing starting with the grams of O2. 9.32 grams of O2 can give you 10.5 grams of H2O. So you have two answers to choose from, just like 25 sandwiches versus 30 sandwiches. And we picked the smaller of the two values last time for sandwiches. Same thing happens here. So who is the limiting reactant? Who was the limiting reactant in the sandwich example? The buns, because whatever you run out of is your limiting reactant. Here, as soon as you make 10.5 grams of H2O, you will run out of all the oxygens all the oxygen molecules. So there will not be any oxygen available to react any further. And so the maximum amount of H2O you can make is 10.5 grams. And who was the limiting reactant? Oxygen. What about the other reactant? It's still left over. And we call it the excess reactant. Okay, the excess reactant. 